Welcome to globallytraining.com. Globallytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globallytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video series on VB scripting. In this video, uh, I will uh, show you or you know walk you through the process of uh, creating a basic uh, VB script from scratch using Notepad++ and uh, Notepad. We'll also look at how a VB uh, script file looks in the file system. I mean the icon, and also you know we'll talk a little bit about the extension .vbs as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have created a, a shortcut for Notepad++, Notepad, and the command prompt, and uh, you know location where I have uh, the scripts as well. I mean, we, we're going to save our new scripts there. So let me start with Notepad first. Um, okay, here is my Notepad. Uh, as you can see, it's untitled, so it's uh, you know it's not a saved document. Let me, um, you know, create a real quick uh, script here. I'll just display a message. MSG message box. Hello. Well, I am learning. BB scripting. Okay. Put another message box. Message box. Learning at global e training dot com. Okay. So let's save this uh, file. Let's say file save get a prompt I am going to take you to VB scripts folder and I want to do I mean I can directly do this while I'm here I can put a name here let me try this option and see the kind of impact it has I want to say my sample VB script oh one and that's it Look at here, my sample VB script dot txt. So if it's dot txt, it's not going to work. Let me show you the file, the way it looks. Here it is, my sample VB script dot txt. As you know, the VB scripts end with dot VBS. Dot VBS is the extension. So I can go here, right click here, do rename, and remove the dot txt extension and do VB, yes. To look at this the icon is a little bit different now it's uh, interpreted as a VB script script file not VBS let me uh, go and open notepad one more time not the same script. I'm just copying those lines I'll open the blank notepad blank I'm gonna paste the same lines this time I'm gonna uh, save it as a VB script Control save all. Uh, I'm going to click on this VB script 01, but I'm going to change the name to 02. Save it. See, look at here, it has .vbs. Let me close this file or go to that folder. So I have my sample VB script .vbs and 02. It's primarily, they are same scripts, same you know content. I just try to show you uh, what happens when you actually try to save a file and uh, you know if it is .txt you just have to rename the extension to .vbs 
and one of the problems that you might come across is for example if your uh, source options view if you have hide extensions for known files if this is checked then what happens is you know most of the you know extra known extensions will not be displayed and trying to rename the file from here it would be difficult say you know if we had uh, a text file my sample pb script 03 and let's say we have the same lines in there and now we know that you know just by the look of the icon and it says text document I mean using the Explorer I mean you'll not be able to change the extension so for that if, if this is your situation on your system then you have to go there uh, to folder properties and go go to view and uncheck this hide extensions for the known files apply that and okay now if we see the extensions now you can just go there remove the .txt and put vv yes there okay that's how you create your vv script using notepad now let me use um, Oh, let me do this real quick. Okay, let me use uh, use uh, Notepad plus plus here. I'm gonna open Notepad plus plus. If you haven't already installed Notepad plus plus, I would highly recommend uh, to go and download and uh, you know install it on your system. So let me close all these um, scripts here okay so this is a new uh, new file I want to paste those VB script lines in there I'm going to say save now same thing I'm going to point this to C drive VB script that's where we have our scripts it was 03 now I'm going to name it 04 I'm going to say my it pull that I'm going to remove I'm going to put 04 dot VBS so I'm typing the name and hit save and look at this it took it as a VBS file it recognized that it is a VB script file and you know you have a blue text for this message box so now let's you know open this in a notepad same file and compare this there's a huge difference so when you write uh, scripts or look at scripts using editors like notepad plus plus it really helps so that's how you create your files let's uh, look at how we can run them as, uh, as i was mentioning in the other video you can you have a couple of options number one you can open a command prompt and you know run the script or one you hit enter you get a message hello i'm learning web scripting well, and says you know I'm learning at globallytraining.com. That's one way you can have a command prompt open and run the script from there, or you can just directly double click on the script using your Windows Explorer. Double click there, you directly get this. You know, hello world, I'm learning VB scripting. I'm learning at globallytraining.com. So you have two options: one, you can use your command prompt, go to the location and uh, you know run the scripts from there using the command prompt or you can just directly uh, go to the folder and double click right on the script and make sure uh, you know it is a .vbs and you have this icon if you don't have if it's set to .txt then it will open up as a text file let's take a look at that so if, say for this double click this the notepad will open up because it, it the file system or the operating system uh, sees this as a, a notepad not a VB script but look at this if I double click here it actually you know it gets executed well that's it about uh, you know uh, running uh, scripts and uh, you know using notepad and uh, notepad plus plus to create uh, you know your uh, VB script files well see you in the next video thank you bye <laughs>